लेफ्ट सैड सब्सक्रैब बटन क्ली द्वारा मरी पक्ने वाली गंट सिंबल प्रेस द्वारा मन ान मंच सैन वीडियो मोबाइल नोटिफिकेसन द्वारा चूडना की अवकाश उ Welcome to Science Club. Today's our topic is in gravitation lesson. Today's our topic is universal law of gravitation proposed by the great scientist Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton proposed a theory that called universal law of gravitation. this universal gravitation law of gravitation tells about the attraction between the bodies in whole universe there are many bodies like planets like uh, stars in universe there is an attraction force between any two bodies there is a attraction between the bodies that attraction is gravitation so he proposed a theory universal gravitational constant each body attracts another body near it he said that so by the universal gravitation constant today we prove the universal gravitation constant what is the equation for the universal gravitation constant and the what is the universal gravitation constant we prove the that in this lesson we know am acceleration of moon we determine the value of acceleration or speed of the moon around the earth in the previous video in previous class so the acceleration of the moon am means acceleration of moon around the earth is equal to 0.27 cm per second This is the speed of the moon, acceleration of the moon, zero point two seven centimeters per second, and A E is the acceleration of body near the Earth. Acceleration of the body near the Earth uh, from certain height, like apple. Apple is dropping from a certain height, and the apple is uh, falling down towards the Earth. You know. So A E is the acceleration of the apple. which is falling down towards the earth from certain height this is the acceleration of body or acceleration of apple ae is equal to uh, newton said that the value of uh, acceleration of the body near the earth acceleration what is the value of acceleration of bodies near the earth acceleration of the body near the earth is 981 cm per second square is the value of uh, acceleration of the bodies which is near to the earth set by the newton and uh, determined by the newton the value is uh, approximately 981 cm per second is the acceleration of the bodies near the earth and in uh, we compare the two accelerations acceleration of the moon and the acceleration of the body near the earth we compare the two accelerations so a e by a m is equal to 981 by 0.27 is approximately equal to the 3694 3640 value if we compare the accelerations the value will be approximately 3640 next we know the radius of earth 384400 km is the radius of earth this is the radius of earth the moon is rotating around the earth in a circular path in universal uh, in a circular path so the radius of the earth is uh, 384400 km and the rm is the distance of moon from the center of the earth earth yokka center nunchi moon the distance between the moon and the center of the earth is uh, The value for is 
6371 kilometers 6300 kilometers is the distance between the moon and the earth center of the earth here this is the moon and the distance between the center of the earth this is called 6371 kilometers is the distance of moon from the center of the earth so we compare the two radiuses or the two distances to uh, radius between radius of the earth and the distance between the moon and the center of the earth we compare these two r e by r m is equal to 384400 by 6371 kilometers we get the approximate value of a uh, 60.3 kilometers so this is the comparison of acceleration the value is 3640 and the comparison of radiuses or a comparison of distances between the bodies is re by rm is equal to 60.3 kilometers the value so by observing these two comparisons we get the acceleration comparison of acceleration the value 3.3640 is equal to the square of the value of distances comparison value of distances student there is a re by rm the value of re by rm is a 60.3 uh, we square it 60.3 whole square is equal to the 3, 3640 so we can observe here by these values a e by a m approximate the comparisons of acceleration is equal to the square of the radiuses or distances between the objects is equal to the value so from this we conclude that acceleration is proportional to the radius a square of the radius between them the acceleration of the bodies accelerations of the bodies is directly proportional to sorry is inversely proportional to the radius square of the radius between them so a is acceleration is inversely proportional to 1 by r square radius square so acceleration is uh, inversely proportional to the distance square of the distance 1 by distance square so a is proportional to the 1 by r square here taken as equation 1 and acceleration if acceleration is inversely proportional to the distance the force of attraction force of attraction means the, uh, the uh, when the acceleration uh, when the acceleration is come for a body the force of attraction if the force of attraction is there the acceleration will become to the body so acceleration is inversely proportional to the 1 by distance square so the uh, force of attraction is also inversely proportional to the distance square 1 by distance square force of attraction is inversely proportional to 1 by distance square here the equation f is inversely proportional to force of attraction means f is inversely proportional to 1 by r square taken as the equation 2 <coughs> from the newton second law we know the newton second law force is equal to mass into acceleration the product of force is equal to product of mass and acceleration f is equal to m into a so we know the from the first equation f is uh, proportional to the 1 by r square f is proportional to r a is proportional to 1 by r square if we take in uh, the proportionality proportional symbol and we put the equal equal to for the equation to come the equation uh, a is equal to put the equal to symbol we have to the condition is we have to apply some constant is there so a is equal to some constant k into 1 by r square k is k is a proportionality constant this constant is put because of uh, uh, removing of a proportionality symbol so if we remove the proportionality symbol there is a uh, some constant will be there so a is equal to k into 1 by r square is the equation this equation is substituted in the newton second law f is equal to ma though f is equal to m in the place of a we substitute uh, 
k into 1 by r square. So, f is equal to k m by r square is taken as equation 3. f is equal to k m by r square. This f is the force on apple by the act. And this m is the mass of the apple. So, mass of the apple and the r is the distance between the apple and the center of the earth. Distance between the apple and the center of the earth. And k is a constant and f is the force between the apple and the earth. So, the force between the apple and the earth f is equal to constant into mass of the apple by distance between the apple and the center of the earth r square f is equal to k into m by r square here f is the force on apple by the earth here the equation 3 equation 3 uh, tells the f equation 3 force is tells the force on apple by the earth f is equal to k small m by r square now we know the way uh, determine the force of attraction by the apple on the moon. This is the force of attraction on the apple by the earth. We determine the force of uh, attraction by the apple on the moon. The moon is uh, on the earth. Sorry. Earth is a big big object and the apple is a small object but there is a force of attraction between the earth and the object we know the newton third law from the newton third law ee video ga meeku nachinatlaite like cheyandi share cheyandi subscribe cheyadam maatram marchipokandi have a nice day